So mostly because Nigerians don't uh, at now own ships, we rely on foreign ships to do that. We don't have any. Because we don't well, we have, have a, a national shipping line national anymore. National shipping line, we don't have a national carrier. Uh, our indigenous you know, capacity has been reduced drastically. Hmm. But uh, this is what government is addressing. Okay, so who does most the bulk of Nigeria's shipping now? Uh, the, the bulk is, uh, is foreign uh, shipping lines. Uh, well, if you call them foreign because they're international, but that's what happens. The bulk is uh, foreign uh, shipping lines. Are there any large Nigerian players in that sector? There are Nigerian players, quite all right, but uh, I don't think they're large. But as I said, you know, government is addressing the capacity of Nigerians to be involved in international trade in shipping. Okay, um, someone just sent us uh, an email, and we've got a few of them, but one of them says, uh, this one is from Emeka Ezema. He says, about 10 years ago, your council came up with the idea of the ICDCFS as a means of facilitating trade and alleviate the sufferings of importers and exporters. Why has the ICD not taken off, or have you given up on this project? No, we have not. The ICDs will soon come into operation. Um, I see this for those who don't know are uh, dry ports. They are ports in the inter hinterland. Mm. Uh, they have all the paraphernalia of a port. You know, when goods are uh, imported, they will be taken to these inland ports. Duties will be paid there. You know, we have the custom, we have immigration and every other agency. You know, um, they, the idea is to bring shipping, you know, to the doorsteps of uh, shippers at the hinterland. They don't need to come to the seaports. Now, mm -hmm. this will also, if you understand it, uh, stimulate the local economy. Um, mm -hmm. They are supposed to be linked by rail or by trucks. So when are you expecting it to come on stream? We're expecting by next year we'll have the IC this working. What's delaying it? The delay were so, so many things. First of all, they are on BOOT. This were the first what experiment on uh, build, own, operate, and transfer. Okay. Uh, private sector participation in transportation infrastructure, you know, uh, then uh, the legal framework for their existence has been worked out okay. because they have to be uh, ports of destination and ports of origin so that cargo will be consigned from everywhere to them. Hmm. So okay. the vessel arrives at the port and then the goods are transshipped? Yes, the goods are evacuated because, you know, you don't keep, you know, cargo at the ports. Okay. They are transported to those um, either by road or by either rail. by road or by rail preferably by rail and the rail is coming on now okay. so this is the the function of uh, uh, inland container depots okay and we now, have them in uh, five locations in nigeria okay um ulufemi adiban just says day in day out shippers are being made to suffer in the hands of terminal operators and shipping companies by all, with all manner of charges are these operators above the law? And what is your council doing to check their excess? A very important question, and as I've already said, uh, we have really uh, uh, been able to carry out our functions, Nigerian Shippers Council, that these charges are not arbitrary. You have, uh, of course, you know, um, uh, some examples here and there where charges are still levied. And then we do, you know, our work to find out why you know, we have meetings with these terminal operators with shipping charges. And if you look between 2009 and now, I will assure you that most of these charges have been streamlined. And uh, we are still on it. Uh, we have got to redress, you know, the, the charges. Charges cannot be arbitrarily. There must be rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. And that's what Nigerian Shippers Council is uh, coordinating. Okay. Now, before we came on air, you were telling me about the laws that uh, our shipping laws date back to 1950-something or the other. So um, what is the council doing about upgrading or changing those laws to move with the times? Because right. shipping is, is an international um, industry. Shipping is not only international, it's also dynamic. You find changes every day as, uh, so fast that the law may not cope with these changes. Uh, we are in the era of door-to-door -door delivery of cargo. You know, we are in the era of uh, uh, e-commerce e and so on and so forth. Uh, the most important thing is uh, in Nigeria, you see changes everywhere. The economy has been galvanized. 
you know, the economy is being stirred up and uh, so many changes are happening in agriculture, in mining, in manufacturing. Everywhere you see, you see these changes. So transport must keep, you know, with these changes. Uh, in transport, transport is a reflection of the economy and the seriousness of a nation. So the Nigerian Press Council has been at the forefront of uh, uh, clamoring for changes in the laws. For example, in the transport sector, the private sector now is the canal for change. Before, for example, in uh, clearance of goods, it is the MPA. But the MPA, Nigerian Post Authority, are now the landlords. Mm -hmm. Now private sector is participating. And though you have to change the laws to accommodate mm -hmm. them. Okay. Nigerian Railway Corporation 1955 law, that cannot sustain the changes. Nigerian Post Council 1978 law cannot sustain the changes. <laughs> okay. So we are making a lot of uh, changes in the law. You have to, yeah, to, to cope yeah, with, the with, the, with the changes and with the time. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, you yourself are a lawyer. Yes. And uh, um, how, as a lawyer, are you going to deal with your present um, circumstance as the CEO of the Shippers Council? Oh well. Does it uh, does it uh, put you in any kind of advantage? Yes, because uh, transportation or law uh, or, or or shipping, as you may call it, is uh, mostly a legal thing. It's a legal relationship, it's a contract, you know, agency, and uh, their obligations, their duties, their rights. So I think a lawyer would be better to see the perspective, you know, wider, you know, he will have a bird's eye view of what's happening and be able to address, you know, some of these challenges. Okay, two quick questions yes. to wrap up now. Um, Paul Momo says, what is the council doing to solve the problem of congestion in our ports? Is it part of your responsibilities? Yes, because we, have, we are, you know, policy formulators. And one of the things is the ICDs we talk about. When we have the ICDs, you don't keep all the goods there. But more importantly, uh, congestions in the port um, is a, sometimes a function of physical limitation at these ports. The ports we have had have been there for many, many years. They have constraint of uh, space, you know, and so on and so forth. Then there is access to the port because no matter how efficient your port is, you have to have access road. You have to have the port linked with rail so that, so you know, that goods are evacuated as soon as they are discharged. Mm -hmm. So we are advocating for development of new ports, deep sea ports, you know, in uh, Badagri, in um, Lekki, in Cross River State or Aqua Ibom State and so on and so forth as formally okay. uh, policy formulation. Okay, final question. Sorry, just before you go I mean, to that question, how busy is the Apapa port these days? Apapa port is uh, it's, uh, extremely busy. Um, uh, you dumb in the number of vessels. You know, there have been port reforms. Mm -hmm. The terminal operators are now in the private hand. You can uh, measure the efficiency of a port by the number of vessels, turnaround time for vessels, mm -hmm. dwelling time for cargo, um, and so many other things. So I think, uh, yes, Apapa Port is uh, extremely Still busy. very busy. Okay, okay. Um, we're out of time now, but let me just uh, ask for one sentence in, re in response to this. This is from Adjoa, I say, from Switzerland. I sent in computers and almost half of the goods were stolen. What would you advise him to Come do? Come to Shippers Council. Come to Shippers Council. Yes. How do they get to Shippers Council? Oh. Where do they get Shippers Council? Oh. Anything online that yes, they can there is. access? Yes, we have a website. Okay. www.shipperscouncil.com okay. and there, uh, we are all over in the newspapers. We advertise the numbers you can call. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have been looking at uh, the Shippers Council mm -hmm. and we have the CEO with us, Mr. Hassan Bello. Thank you very much Thank for you. coming. Thank you very much. Sunrise will return in just a moment. Since you've stayed this long, you might as well just stay with us. I beg, I beg, me, I can't shout. How can you be somewhere? Today things are working, tomorrow they are not. As soon as I got the opportunity to switch to somewhere with real quality, I did. When I used to work, you had to do something to get something. But over here, you get stuff for free. Free six month subscription on my Blackberry. This is the first place I've been where they actually treat you like a human being. I even brought my smartphone over from the other place and got free three month data bundle. Bros, how I no go switch? Now I'm always on top because I have the perfect plan to suit my busy lifestyle. 
uninterrupted communication, whether home or abroad.